We all have big dreams in 2022, but instead of setting New Year's resolutions that require superhuman feats of willpower and start with a manageable first step. Here's the thing. If you struggle with keeping your New Year's resolutions, beating yourself up won't help. With Talkspace, you get support from a personally matched therapist right from your home computer or phone whenever you need it. So you can make taking care of your mental health a part of your daily routine. Let me tell you, we truly believe that going to therapy should be stigma free here at Here's the Thing. Do. Your mental health is important. And just like you would have a personal trainer to take care of your physical health, you would have a dentist to take care of your teeth. You need a professional therapist to help you take care of your mental health. And that is why we are so happy that Talkspace is sponsoring today's episode. Whether you deal with anxiety, depression, self-doubt or anything else, Talkspace matches you with a licensed therapist who can give you support whenever you need it. You can get access to a private virtual room with just you and your therapist. Send messages 24-7 and get replies throughout the day. No need to wait for a weekly appointment. Talkspace encryption added security features keep your conversation fully protected. Make mental health a part of your daily routine with Talkspace. Visit Talkspace.com and get $100 off your first month when you use promo code CREW with a K, Crew Crew with a K. A K at sign up. That's $100 off at Talkspace.com, promo code Crew with a K. Crew with a K. Hello. And welcome. Is that really how we're going to start? Why are we doing this? What is the... In five. That's what it is. Five, four, three, two. What up, y'all? Welcome to Here's the Thing. I'm Kevo Stage. She's... That's Chick AJ. Welcome to another hot and heavy episode. Bangers, bangers, bangers. All 2022. All 2022. This is our third year. Bangers, bangers, bangers. We started working together with 2020. 2020? 2020? During the pandemic. During the pandemic. I ain't seen Josh nor Angel since December 18th. We've been gone away from each other. I wanted to go to their house. I was disinvited by Marcus. It's just been us. It's been so much going on. Don't do that. Josh was in Disneyland getting drinks, man, frolicking. Let me tell you what. I didn't know they had bars at Disneyland. Partaking tell me what. Partaking communion at Disneyland. <laughs> Is that don't, nice? That's a whole different. What experience. was it like to go without children? I've always wanted to know. Oh, it was. It was great. Other than the, honestly, it was packed though. It was the mm. week of Christmas. Ah, uh, yeah, that'll do it. Oh, my goodness. We tried to go on Thanksgiving, and it was sold out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I had to buy my tickets like a month and a half out. A and you have to have reservations. Yes, you got to do a reservation. And it's and still packed. I was like, okay, there can't be that many people. Mm-mm. Wait, That's... reservations for when you come into the park? Yes. And you... if you get a park hopper, you can't go into the second park until after 1 p.m. All of these restrictions? Yes. yes. All of They make and it very still, difficult. In the land of magic? And it's still hour and a half wait times on these rides. So how many rides did you actually get on? Um, like ten over the two days. Oh, you went two days. Was there was 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 your friend surprised? Oh my God! Yes. Oh, uh, there was a. She thought you was a dog. dog. Uh, uh? Don't do that. <laughs> Wait, did you did you guys go to separate homes before the night, or did you guys? Oh, you are we, we, we actually commuted there to and from, <laughs> and then after you're like, bye mm-hmm. bye, bye bye, friend. Mm-hmm. And then. Uh, but you said she thought it was a dog. She thought I was gonna get a dog because I told her I was like, "All right, you're gonna get." She's like, "A dog." I was like, "A dog? That's a that's not a gift. That's a responsibility." Yeah, I was like, "It's a whole child. I'm not doing that." But uh, no, she was thoroughly surprised. She thought I was lying. Where's the bar at in Disneyland? There's actually two. There, well, in the actual Disney park, because there's drinks on California Adventure side. There's margaritas mm-hmm. on that really? side. Really? Yes. Drinks there. I that totally was actually, missed that. Mm-hmm. Between the two parks, that's the only one that used to have alcohol. Now. Ogus Cantina at Galaxy's Edge. Galaxy's Edge. Galaxy's Edge. That's that's Star Wars Land. Mm. Oh, I which is been in completely a while. immersive. You go in there and you feel like you're in another state. Ooh, this was California, right? Galaxy, technically, but yeah, no, no, no. That that's that's an uh, old park. The original park has Disneyland. Oh, I must. They they must have changed a lot since we we went in like 2014 though. Oh. Okay. And that's why I'm so excited about making uh, the reservations. I did all the bought the tickets, made the reservation for Disney World, that and then, sur- that gift surprise though was the oh funniest they thing to were me. trash. My kids were like, A "We're t-shirt? gonna wear these shirts <laughs> in Orlando, Florida." <laughs> Okay. Lil Marcus was like, I mean, I've been to Disney World. I don't know the difference. He doesn't even realize that there's like two different places. I was like, I hate my kids. I took, I surprised them for Disneyland. They were ecstatic for Disney World. They're like, nice. (laughs) 
My kids better get crunk because we are going all out. Do the whole, do the ears. It was oh, fun, yeah. Though. Ears matching shirts. We're flying in the cousin. Yes. Flying in the cousin. Well, my sister's flying in. We're paying for his tickets. But yes, I was going to say, let me, let me clarify. Blue and the cousins out. Blue out. Yes. And we're staying at a great place, but I can't wait to make the dinner reservations because I'm going to do all oh, that. Oh, I too. tried. I still try to do that and I couldn't do it. When you, you and Marcus. When you the reservation, Try and immediately go for it. Oh, Are you no, taking- I did it, and I'm about to do the dinner reservation. I just didn't have the mental capacities. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what? My skin does look good. You look young. Oh. Yeah, it's, I, something is different. This is the yeah. track that you should be on. What? Are Are you guys taking a nanny? No, but my sister is coming with her son. Mm. So, uh, yeah, she's going to You got to go day. to that wine place Melissa and I went to. Just give me the information. Oh, that's possible. The, oh, the one they went to uh, without us. We're yes, in the same exactly. city. Yes, exactly. Well, we were all there. Yeah. Yeah. With the yeah. customers that we love so much. Quick announcements <laughs> before we get into the episode. Uh, if you missed it, in case you missed it, uh, the slightly problematic Kev set only is now for sale. Um, if you're not a Patreon, you're going to be paying $15 <laughs> and that's on kevonstage.com. Uh, it's just me. No angel, no to hear. Uh, it's not the greatest quality. It's I didn't one film camera. It. Let's be clear. Josh was I like, can't shoot, remember how to shoot it. it, shoot it, shoot it with nine cameras and HD and I did 8K. not say shoot it with nine cameras. Uh, let me shoot it. It would have been wonderful stop if motion. you would have shot it. Let me just shoot it with it. Been in the real world. <laughs> it would have been great if you would have let him. Shoot it would have, but then I would have had to spend money for it, and then I would have had to really promote it. This is just like if you missed it, you can watch it. It's coming down in about two weeks, uh, three weeks. So watch it or don't. I, who did let? Who gave it to us? Was it DC or Dallas? Mm-hmm. DC. I, if I, you didn't download it, you can't now. Yeah, it's it's expired. Bye. Um, also, so another quick announcement. <laughs> if you're not on the Kevin Stage Studios app, you're really missing out. The Dodgeball episode is one of the funniest challenge show episodes we've ever done. Yes. I need to screen record Angel Falling. I <sighs> I need to search for it because it somebody put the little link in uh on their stories and I had yes. forgotten. We shoot so much, I'll be mean, forgetting stuff happened. I bounced like the dog <laughs> running for that ball. <laughs> And then I just got tapped with the ball to be out. It was like, boop, there you go, babe. Go ahead and go back to your corner. Ah, it was so <laughs> funny. I Marcus 68. is in the episode. Tony had a vasectomy. Then we had to shoot the next day. <laughs> He's like, ah, oh, I didn't even think about that. I was like, Tony. The doggone dude from Dodgeball um, is in there. Chris, Chris Williams mm-hmm. is in the episode. And he's great. Mm-hmm. He hit me in the head with a wrench, mm-hmm. which is really crazy because what they did Tony Valentino, this is a genius bit. It's I was just in on it. you were in on it. Oh yeah, that's how I got the photo. So what happened is they had essentially a foam wrench made up. Mm-hmm. Okay, but the way they sold it, he had a toolbox full of real wrenches. Yes, and geniusly, he dropped them. So, you so all you hear is ping, ping, weight. ping, ping. You yes. hear all the weight of it. And I'm like, damn, that was like that's crazy that he's brought those. I remember that part of the movie. <laughs> So then he picks up a wrench that looks like all the other wrenches. And I literally say in the clip, those are real wrenches, though. And then he <laughs> just throws it at my head and it, it hit me so fast. Oh, it did. And I was expecting my head to split open. <laughs> I was like, why are they allowing this man to throw a real wrench at me? But the fact that Tony Valentino and Josh planned this out like months in advance because oh, they no, had to I get like the a day of. I wasn't a part of the pre-production meeting. So, oh, it. Well, Tony Valentino planned it because you had, they had to get that oh, made. Yeah. They didn't just go to the prop store. They had to like wow. send that ahead of time. Wow. So, uh, and just, I'm going to just tell y'all straight up right now. And this is no cap. You feel me? Uh, no graduation cap. Oh. The app this year, oh if you guys thought it was good last year, oh, Jesus. I am laser focused this year. Ooh, laser. No tour. It's just... Well, no tour for now. I was about to say, uh, don't lie. I'm like, no actually here. preparing for the tour right now, but <laughs> I'm not touring until at least June. I don't have the first dates uh, yet. Not touring to at least June in the first five months is supreme focus on the app and uh, and getting ready for this tour. And also this tour, I'm going into theaters, less cities. There's no no way that I do what I did last year. Angel quit. 
uh, stand-up comedy, not awesome. just touring. <laughs> she just was like, you know, this whole medium of this, artistry, uh, I don't want to do this anymore. Mm-mm. I just saw Kevin Hart was at Palm Beach, Palm Beach Improv, and I was like, ugh, them tickets were cheeks. Mm-hmm. Uh, but anyway, uh, when those tickets go on sale, please go. You're going to see a show that you will be proud of. All right. All of that's out the way. Let's begin. Now, this was really, this happened right when we went on break. Uh, this Twitter person, classically Abby, she tweeted a picture of Madonna. She said, this is Madonna at 63. This is Nancy Reagan at 64. (laughs) Uh, trashy living versus classic living. Which version of yourself do you not want to be? And Josh, you can put the picture here. Madonna's laying in the bed looking like herself. And, and, uh, Nancy Reagan was... Uh, oh, yeah, Madonna did have the nippy out. She had her, her uh, Britney mm-hmm. Spears on. Show the whole photo. By the way, Britney Spears has been like, I want to be naked on Instagram. Yes. And you can't even, you don't have to follow her to see it. You. I don't ever see her stuff. I, I do. People repost her stuff on Twitter all the time. Oh. She got all that conservative shit and she was like. Is she out? She out. Oh, bless her heart. She that's out. Why, that's why that, she's that, out here. That, Daddy Spears was a girl. She was like, oops, these titties and nips. <laughs> yeah. She'd be, I'd be like, all right, Brittany. She'd be like, I can do it if I want. I'd be like, you can. Did she grab it's your body. Yeah. But anyway, uh, next to Madonna is a picture of Nancy Reagan and the crack uh, epidemic starter, uh, Ronald Reagan and a bunch of whites. And so what she was trying to do was slut shame Madonna, right? Is that right? I thought she was, that trying, she to was do. trying to shame uh, Nancy. No, I didn't realize the no, no. shade was Trashy Madonna. living versus classic living. Which mm-hmm. version do you want to be? And then, in an interesting turn of events, apparently, Nancy Reagan is a throat goat. Oh, God. According to Kitty Kelly's biography, Nancy Reagan was renowned in Hollywood for performing almost oral sex. Oh, Just say God. yes. Nancy, in the days when she was Nancy Davis, was known to give the best blowjob in town. Come not on, only Nancy. In, not in town. Come on, Nancy. <laughs> not only in the evening, but in offices. That was one of the reasons that she was very popular on the MGM lot. It I must never, have been very popular with Ronnie as well. That's never, how Ronnie became president. She convinced thought, him. I never thought we'd say throat coat on this. I know. He podcast. said it. I know. It's so smooth. And that was an I was interesting. Like, Does that mean something else? Throat goat? Yeah, no, when you said it, because I was like, he's talking about Nancy, so throat goat must mean something else. She no. was a singer? No. That was. <laughs> like she sang well that was reagan economics <laughs> oh my god come on nancy i ain't mad at it i'm not mad Yo, baby. Listen. live your best life nancy was like i'm gonna get me a president <laughs> that's what she said <laughs> say i won't say i won't she had her own hotel she oh, said i'm gonna have god. him buy me a new butt yes nancy davis Nancy Davis? Mm-hmm. When I know somebody saw her at the inauguration, I said, I know that oh, ain't no Nancy Davis. <laughs> That's <She's> Nancy. Like... <laughs> I, t- I told the people on set I was going 10 1, okay? <laughs> <laughs> it was a different kind of restroom break. You understand me? That oh. Nancy Davis was on the MGM line and she was the line. You oh, understand yes, me? She was. That's why the line was like. Oh. That was that Nancy Reagan. You know, we never be thinking that old people used to do the trifling stuff that we do. Listen, in the Bible, God made people and Sodom and Gomorrah, butt stuff, booty, booty, butthole open. I I, I always wonder the first person, the first human who was having sex and God was like, y'all just put that thing. I made that go out like that. Can you see that slit? You put it (laughs) in in there. there. And then somebody saw the butt was like, but what if I put it in there? Yeah. And God's like, hey, hey, what? No, 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 no. Mm. That's a perfect, I already made one you for know that. what comes out of there? You don't <laughs> smell that? No, no, like, that's a totally different, that's uh, not even a part of this. That's not a part of this. But I want to lick that. <laughs> what? Why? No, Why would you want to lick that? No, it has its own fluid. No. But I want to lick that. Yeah. Hey, hey, put it, stop. I'm going to boop your nose. Oh, Don't lick that. They were like, no. In the box, everything, there's nothing new under the sun. It's not. So somebody, I mean, they had, they had uh, Rahab. Rahab was a, was a woman of the night. And she saw the people coming in. And she said, hey, man, I'm not finna be dead. Yeah. They is right there. <laughs> when y'all leave, <laughs> swing by old Rahab. You feel me? Gomer? They were all doing Gomer it. was on that Nancy Davis. Look, look. <laughs> 
<laughs> how much of it? How much of? See, I remember you had the revel- revelation on this podcast mm-hmm. that your granny was not celibate the entire time. She wasn't. You really thought? You said all these I years. Just, I was like, for who? In all of my memories, <laughs> she's at home. But I had to go to bed at well, like that's seven. The best place to do it. I never saw nobody come in the house, and she was like, "Yeah, because I didn't want them over there." And I was like, "You went other places, Dad." Mm. That's wild, man. I don't ever get in those conversations with my mom because I am certain <laughs> she would put me to shame. She'd be like, oh, that's that's all you done. <laughs> Let's go back. It was the seventies, <laughs> right Ooh. there. It was the seventies. That was like was the enough. whole culture of yes, is butt stuff. That was the tagline. Booty tag <laughs> is why not. That was the tagline. Would. In stock, <laughs> Woodstock put. They were doing drugs. Each other afternoon de- delight is not about ice cream. No, it's not. You understands me? No, it's not. Now, which one do you want to be though, Kevin? Madonna's face is weird. First of all, that's a copy paste. That is not a real face. <laughs> that is a Halloween mask <laughs> that she's wearing in this photo. That cannot. You see it. Oh man! Do you nah, see she Madonna. She been, <laughs> you know, remembering uh uh WandaVision when Vision was fighting New Vision. Yeah, and he was oh. he gave him the riddle of like if you have a ship and you replace it board by board, and eventually all the boards are replaced, is it a new ship or is it an old ship? And that's her face. She's just like, is a ship. <laughs> this was. <laughs> <laughs> There's no remnants of my old nose anymore. That's gone. It no, I don't know who that is. If somebody would not have put her name on there, I would have been like, Yeah. I don't know who that is. Madonna been famous for too long. She just I I, I didn't know she was sixty three. Apparently yeah, she Nancy has too. She would you say? So apparently Nancy's been famous for too long too. No, listen, Nancy, I wanna be both. I wanna be dressed like Madonna, but in that field with my grandkids. <laughs> <laughs> you better not be 63 with one nipple out and then be like y'all get the y'all get, get out in that field um, i tell your child to hold the phone and put it on portrait mode i'm putting this on my tiktok <laughs> yeah i want classy living i don't want classic classy I, I want classy living that's what i want ah. that, why not why not? Listen, man. Shoot, we ain't nothing but 25 years away from 63, ain't it? Mm-hmm. Give or take. Do the math. Was that right? That was right on. I got mm-hmm. I got I got to renew mine in 2022. I mean, that's I'm I'm a little closer to the to that. You I just, don't Yeah, I was do my Yeah, you do yours. You fit me with 42? I'm about to be 42. You fit me Jackie Robinson? Mhm. What you finna do at 42? I don't know, be out here. I told Marcus yesterday. I said, "Listen, I'm gonna be out here during the summer." I said, let me keep working this weight off, and these cheeks is going to be in the street. I said, so wherever you plan us to be for our anniversary, no, my booty cheeks are going to be out. He said, we're going to be in this house. I said, no, we're going to go out the country and know that these people, he was like, are we going to go someplace cold? We're going we gonna to go to a place. It doesn't matter. We could be in Italy. We could be in Spain, okay? <laughs> Chicks are going to be out. I'm going to be talking to people because I'm going to be in took babble classes, and I'm going to be like, hey. Como se dice chicks in okay. italiano? Okay. In espanol. In espanol. En chicas. Because, <laughs> listen, these cheeks is going to be good and my foreign language is going to be even better. <laughs> Whether it's saving more or spending less, getting organized or losing weight, there's a lot of whole w- worthwhile goals to set for yourself this year. At the top of my list is learning a new language with Babbel so I can have my cheeks out and talk about my cheeks in the, the uh, country that we're in. Mm-hmm. Um The Babbel is the learning language learning app that has sold more than 10 million subscriptions. Spanish is the one that I'm focused on because I was getting close to being fluent when I was in high school and I kind of lost all of it. And so I want to get it back. And Babbel was like, we got you, sis. Not only is um, learning a new language fun and engaging, uh, you can also use it while you check off traveling more from your list. The whole Babbel process is addictively fun, fast, and easy. Babbel teaches bite-sized language lessons for real-world use. Um, I have not gotten any less busy 
You ain't? No, I'm still busy. Angel! Okay? I'm still busy, Kevin. So for me, Babbel is nice to be able to throw into my schedule that doesn't have a lot of um, extra space in it. But knowing that it's not going to take up too much time, whether I'm like, I finally organized my vanity. I was listening to my Babbel lessons then. My vanity hasn't been organized since we moved in, and now it is. And I was able to learn a little more Spanish while I was there. <laughs> Babbles, 15 minute lessons make it uh, the perfect way to learn a, learn a new language on the go. Other language learning apps use artificial intelligence for their lesson plans, but Babbel uses um, lessons are created by over 100 language experts. Their teaching method has been scientifically proven to be effective. With Babbel, you can choose from 14 different languages, including Spanish, French, Italian, and German. Plus, Babbel speech recognition technology helps you to improve your pronunciation and accent. There are so many ways to learn with Babbel. And in addition to lessons, you can access podcasts, games, videos, stories, and even live classes. Plus, it comes with a 20-day money-back guarantee. Start your new language learning journey today with Babbel. Right now, you can purchase a three-month Babbel subscription. You'll get an additional three months for free. That's six months for the price of three. Just go to Babbel.com and use promo code SK. SK? That's B A B B E L dot com code S K. S K. Babel, language for life. Shouts to Nancy Reagan Davis. Uh, moving on. Car- Cardi B. Um, she Somebody said teeth before BBL. Mm-hmm. And Cardi B said, nope, I think BBL before teeth. Nikas, trick on a girl with a body and a gap before they do with a woman of God with a nice smile. Your BBL is your investment for your teeth. Plus, BBL 6K to 15K. Good veneers, 20K to 50K. Good veneers. Good yeah. veneers. veneers. Don't necessarily range from 20 to 30, but I guess she said the good ones. Good yes. veneers. Good. Because remember, she got the bag and fixed her teeth. That's. Mm-hmm. She already had she the BBL so. before she got the bag. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. In her line of, in her former, former line of business, uh, the BBL is necessity. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I, if the goal is to get a man to spend a bag on you, yeah. Okay, I get it, but I don't know if that's everyone's goal. No, you know, like that wouldn't be mine because I have my own bag. You know, what you I'm have saying? your own bag. So if I had my own, if I was talking about my own bag, I'm definitely going for my teeth first. Because in your line of business, in my line of business, I lead with my face. Yeah, I don't back into the room. <laughs> I walk in to the room. Angel Akita Moore, ma'am, could you turn around? I just wanted y'all to know what I have Excuse me. <laughs> yeah. Excuse me. Excuse me. We wear a mask anyway. You ain't never going to see my mouth. We wear a mask. I, yeah. Do, what do you feel like should be done? <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, that was just regular clearing my throat. Uh, I- let's, let's listen. Everybody has had... <laughs> Omarion, we've all been in an intimate <laughs> relationship. We made sweet, sweet love to Omicron. There's no point in trying to front. He just he just left us all finally. We were just like, we can't anymore. Everybody in my circle was like, hey, you got it? I got it. <laughs> Omarion. My people, guess who I got it from? They said, we know where you got it. I was like, man. Yeah. <laughs> so do I. To answer your question, here's the actually interesting thing about the BBL. I saw a funny tweet and this dude said, you got a BBL and you smashing the, the, the you smashing the dude who installed cable. He was like, I'm not even worth, I'm not even worth that. That's funny. Uh, it's interesting. The amount of people who like are not in Cardi B's line of business who are, are getting them like BBLs. I feel like their, their, their ratio of BBLs over the last three years, mm-hmm. it's gotta be up. Over three thousand percent. Yeah, there was got to be like zooms. Uh-huh. St- there was a stock. huge part of the census population that didn't participate in the ten-year challenge because of it. <laughs> <laughs> when I was coming back uh, in Atlanta, this is not even a joke. I didn't put two and two together until I saw a tweet. <laughs> I was coming back to Atlanta, and there were a lot of young women in wheelchairs on the plane. Like I was like under thirty. Like of course, ten. Kev's like, oh my god, are they like, okay? Man, what is happening? <laughs> my polio then came and back. I, and I saw this <laughs> this tweet from an Atlanta comedian, and he was like, "Yo, my grandma needs these wheelchairs. Y'all in these BBLs, y'all are taking all the wheelchairs 
and my grandma can't, she can't walk to the plane. Y'all she gotta, gotta wait thirty minutes. At the <laughs> like y'all gotta spread these out, man. <gasps> and I remember getting off the jetway in Atlanta, and it'd be like usually it's like two or three. Oh, it's like a parking lot. Josh, I was like, yo, it's gotta, traffic. You can't double park the jetway. Dog. What are we supposed to do? And that's not even a joke. That I, was like one of my times. I was like, there's a lot of young women in wheelchairs here. I got sent a video of this woman on the plane, and everybody was on their knees, looking like they were praying, like they were tarrying for the Holy Spirit. <laughs> <laughs> because they couldn't sit on their butt the entire flight. Oh, no. How do you... So they're going to, like, the DR? They're going to places that specialize in it. like Miami? Uh, yes, all of those places. In, or uh, Atlanta. Uh, I just got some surgery done, not on my butt. But the holidays is the best time to get it done. Because you a lot are of off. Too. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yes, some people do. New Year, do. new me special. It's at least 20, 30%. But, but most people have the vacation days off. So mm. they like, I, you know what? Santa is bringing me something for Christmas. And it's new cheeks. Did you go back and forth but about telling the world about your decision? I did. Yes. I did. I was like, Because I gosh. checked my YouTube one time and you were like, mm -hmm. I'm in the mm -hmm. hospital. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You know what? I did. I went back and forth. I was like, am I not going to say nothing or am I going to say something? Am I not? And Marcus is more on the don't say nothing. Then I was like, that ain't even me. That, that is not me. <laughs> I'm going to say something. I sure as heck am because cause I can. And then also for me, I'm just a transparent person. And I, really I don't have any shame about it. I do not care when anyone else. Somebody was like, women are still putting the point. Shut up. Women are still what? <laughs> putting poison. And they buy. Oh. <clears throat> they still dating you, so yes. Ah! <laughs> I'm like, because you know what? That's something that you should be afforded when you're grown is to do whatever the heck you want to. Mm. I've been uh, growing that part of me more and more on the internet. You'd be really thinking it it matters. Somebody was saying on Twitter the pandemic is real. On Instagram, it don't exist no more. Like <laughs> people are just. Oh man. No matter what you do, people going to say what they're going to have to say. Mm -hmm. yes. yes. Good, bad, yeah. or indifferent. I'm glad that lesson came at that time, too, because it was like right when I was creating this show. Let me tell you what, man. This show that I'm working on, whew, it's a lot. Mm -hmm. And when you don't have like Hollywood, I see why people don't start networks. Even with, it's a lot even with money. Hollywood money, one thing I, I recognized in the Shit's Creek documentary and the Insta Creek documentary. Oh, you know why I couldn't find that? I was in... Europe. I tried to watch oh, it, it but it, it wasn't popping up. And I was like, Josh, you tripping. The amount of time they spent on character development before they started s the script or shooting to where the fact where they knew every like nook and cranny of every person was so important for the overall like, story arc. And that's one thing I was just like. If you don't do, and this is, listen, to be 1000% blunt, I did this all backwards. I did a little bit of care. I still come from, I'm not a professional writer, uh, but I know more now than I did this time last year. Uh, but when you actually do the character development first, it's it's so much easier to write. Mm -hmm. Because then you can say, oh, this character wouldn't do exactly. this. Exactly. But when yeah. you don't know, you're just trying to write funny stuff, then you write inconsistent characters. The reason Michael Scott did Prison Mike, it, it makes everything Michael Scott does make sense. Yes. Because mm -hmm. Michael Scott's log line is he is a boss who wants to have friends mm -hmm. and being a boss and being friendly don't often coincide. Mm -hmm. So when somebody says this job is like prison, his character's like, Oh, you think this job, this place where I love and I love you guys is like prison. I'm going to show you what prison is really <laughs> like. It's like in the clink. prison is like D the dementors. <laughs> dementors. <laughs> but it's so much easier when you have those characters flushed out. So we basically wrote, a, a show and then got a lot of notes and was like, are we starting oh, I, over? Uh, <laughs> I was telling Angel, I was like, oh, this is going to cost this much. And she was like, it's not. And I was like, girl, you don't even know. <laughs> I went over budget before we even finished writing. Yeah. I was over budget. And I was like, no. By Halloween. No, my friend, you were not over budget. And Kev was going to be shooting by Halloween. Oh, yeah. Oh, I, that was my. Yeah. Yes. I was 
was like, sir, you're not over budget. You budgeted wrong. I completely <laughs> was like, a budget. nah, man. That's I'm going like, to buy a house for 500 and being like, I went over budget buying a house. No, Listen, that did not exist. I really was like, I'm going to shoot this while on tour. I'm going to shoot this this year. By the time Halloween came, <laughs> we had two strong episodes. We doggone wrote this pilot at la the time we stopped changing the revision number on the PDF mm -hmm. was like 17. Wow. Oh my and God. And that one we were just like, just, you don't have to keep doing the revision. You're like, let's stop. You just, you, you just, just. None just of the rest of the just just revised. <laughs> revised and just dead. That's man. Man. Yeah, We're not finished. Michaela Cole, she did like over, like, was it like nine, uh, was it like a hundred revisions? Something yeah, like that? Yeah, it was something crazy. Hundreds of revisions? Yeah. And she wrote it solo. And that's the other thing I realized. When you have a writer's room, I can say, okay, I'm going to write episode one. Angel, Absolutely. you do two. Baby Yoda, you got three. Josh, four. List five. Marcus, six. Then we'll come together. When it's yeah. just you have little money, it's you write one. Okay. <laughs> and look at it. And then and we <laughs> figure out if it's right. Because it might not be. And look at it again. Let me tell you what I was doing yesterday. I was looking up SAG Ultra Premium Low Rates. I'm and I you. said, oh, I could do this. I tried that you told me. I said, oh. And this actually, the one time not having a lot of money helps is mm -hmm. when you don't have a lot of money, but you're paying for it. Mm -hmm. So I'd be like, take this little 200. 200. That's all you get. That's all you 206, by the way, is the SAG Ultra Premium Low Rate. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. $206. That's why I was saying, I was like, you could do this SAG and get the now, when you are, I could have been getting days on, on a lot or something. You yeah. could have been. 206. 206. I'd be cleaning a lot. Now, if you're a SAG regular, the, that oh, 206, that's, that's, you, that's listen, zeros. that's extras get that. Yeah, okay. The, re the real people mm. get, mm. hey, Angel was complimenting me on my skin and my good looks and fitness, and it's because of Noom. Uh, ever since I've come home from my European and uh, African travels, I've been back. Okay. Now you guys know why I like Noom. And the main reason is because Noom doesn't say there's good or bad food. Listen, here's the thing guys. And I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. If peach cobbler is available, I got to have a little piece. I'm just not in a position to be like, no peach cobbler for 90 days, 120 days. I'm going to stick to everything. I'm never going to have a cookie. I don't want to eat a french fry. I had a grilled chicken sandwich from Chick-fil-A. Mm. You want to talk about sad. I nearly cried. When you ate it? Yes. I had a grilled chicken weeks? sandwich and the kale crunch. Oh. And I was like, this is like eating fish at IHOP. Oh. They don't know what they're doing when they're making that. Yeah, it was dry, nobody Josh. Wa nobody wants that, Kev. No. Noom said, get you a little number one. Just get the fruit cup instead of the fries. And I said, can I do this? And you sure can, Kev. Because it's about the psychological approach. You can't just make nothing happen. No, not one little swig of whiskey. Never. What if Marcus says, come over and meet my friend? I can't. Because I cannot eat nothing. I can I have a Marcus mule? What mm. if Angel wants to make a sweet potato pie? I can have none. Mm. I'm flabbergasted at that thought. And Noom says, man, use psychology to empower your practical knowledge and skills. And that's what I've been doing. Unlike other restricted diets or programs, Noom's weight loss psychology. Huh? No Noom. Ah. <laughs> Noom weight uses psychology that's to right. empower you. With the practical knowledge and skills you need to build smarter, more sustainable, long-term habits and behaviors. More than 75% of users 75%. complete the program. And I'm going to be in the 75 you now, Josh. I'm tired of being in 25. Mm -hmm. More than 60% of users lose 5% or more body weight by 16 weeks. And more than 60% of users engaged with the program keep the weight off for a year or more. Noom is grounded in science. Mm -hmm. I, believe I believe in, in science, science, Esteban. <laughs> It's at the heart of everything they do. They publish more than 30 peer-reviewed scientific articles that inform users, practitioners, scientists, and the public about how their methods work and how effective they are. 
Sign up for your trial and get psychology-based support and motivation to reach your goals at noom.com slash SK. That's noom, N-O-O-M dot com slash SK to sign up for your trial. Listen, uh, you know, (laughs) poor Kevin, he (laughs) almost made it. You know what I'm saying? He He almost, uh, the problem is he missed out on taking his ritual today because that would have had him right, Mm would have had him uh, uh, completely locked in today we all deserve to know what we're putting in our bodies and why especially when it comes to something we take every day rituals clean vegan friendly multivitamin is formulated with high quality nutrients and bio available forms your body can actually use what you won't find is sugars gmos major allergens synthetic fillers artificial colorants listen you guys Taking a multivitamin is truly essential to your day-to-day life, being able to really fill in the gaps of your nutrition. And it is important that you find a vitamin that is actually serving your body the way it's supposed to, putting that premium fuel in it. And that's what Ritual does with its delayed released capsule and the fact that your body actually knows what it is. It's not like, what is this uh, this thing I can't pronounce because it's synthetic? Your body is not saying that. It's like, oh, I know what this is and I know what that is and I'm going to use it where I'm supposed to use it. Amen and amen. Um, uh, Ritual's delayed release capsule design delivers high quality nutrients, including vitamin D3 in just two daily pills, now available for women, men, and teens. Ritual multivitamins are scientifically developed to help support different life stages. Ritual makes healthy habits easy. Your multivitamins are delivered to your door every month with free shipping always. You can start, snooze, or cancel your subscription anytime. And if you don't love Ritual within your first month, they'll refund your first order. Get key nutrients without the BS. Ritual is offering our listeners 10% off during your first three months. Visit ritual.com slash crew with a K. Crew with a K. To start your ritual today. Today. All right, moving on. Mm -hmm. Uh, This is not funny, but this is a story. Mm -hmm. Jim Jones was on... uh, Lip service. Uh huh. Yes, he was. And he revealed that his mother taught him how to tongue kiss when he was younger. Here's the clip. When I was younger. What did she tell you to do? <laughs> she told me how to tongue kiss when I was not younger. Like, like, what's the instructions? It wasn't no instructions. She showed me with her mouth. Like she. She kissed you. It's my mother. No, I'm just, okay. uh, my right? parents never. My parents <laughs> kissed me. Barely kissed me on the cheek. She showed me her tongue kiss when I was younger. Remember my mom was 17. She's a baby. Look at all the babies that's yeah, having babies now. Sure and, act, right. and look how they act with their babies. It's like Be they like, have a little sister or a little brother yeah, more than they had. Did, did you think tongue kissing was nasty at first? Because the first time somebody tried to tongue kiss me, I thought it was so disgusting. Um, The first time I tongue kissed a girl? Yeah. <laughs> All right, and he also, his mom responded. She did. She was like, "We well, was no tonguing down each other. She said, I stuck my tongue out, showed him what to do, then he stuck his tongue out. She was like, it wasn't that. She was like, I was just teaching him how to survive in the world. I was like, no, I don't know if that's what you need to survive in the world. Mm. But he needed to be more clear. Because it sounded like they were in there making out. That, listen, hey. Hey. That's you, what it sounded like. It did. And also, you, he, it's, it's obvious now, as a person who didn't realize they was molested boy, uh, too, he didn't know that that's wrong. <laughs> mm. He didn't know. Not You're not that? supposed to do that. Mm. Like, Boosie always talks about Lil Nas X. And then in the same breath, he'll be like, yeah, I had a woman uh, have sex with my son when he was 13 and show him how it's done. Mm-hmm. You got you, you. You had your son molested. You had your son raped. Yeah. You that's 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 not consensual no. under under 18. You can't do consensual. No. So Jim Jones was saying like he he said it like that's my mom. Like. That's normal. Well, no. He, and the thing is, is no, that's what I thought he was saying. But when the mom said, no, we didn't kiss, I was like, was he saying that's my mom? Like, no, me, it's that's my mother. Me and my mother did not kiss. Wait, what are you saying? The, the tone mom. Of it, the, the tone of it was misleading. Yes. The so mother they didn't was, kiss? No. She no, said, she, no, she, she we did not it. tongue each other down. She said, he stuck out his tongue 
And I then was sticking out my oh, tongue they like, didn't no, go, they didn't no, meet. no, they did not meet. That's not how I understood it. No, she's because she cleared it up. She responded, didn't she? He, yes, he did not clear it up. He was like, that's my mom. Like, that's what I would say if somebody was like, oh, did you I over. Sorry, this is okay. an ad. That's okay. I, I was like, what? I don't the, like the, the ads tones, in the middle article. The two tones that can be read are, no, that's my mom. Of, of course, I'm going to kiss my mom. Or that's my mom. I, why would we kiss with our tongues? Well, she said he licked out his tongue. I licked out my tongue. And that was that. I thought they licked the licks met. She said wasn't no mouth to mouth resuscitation. It wasn't like that. It was all about my son growing up and me as a young mother showing her son how to do and dealing with life and the young girl because he's a nice, handsome looking guy. Well, you so you thinking they were just tip tongue to tip tongue? That's what. That's how I. Well, I mean, how do you interpret? I'm gonna read the whole quote. I, yeah, I read the whole quote. I thought gonna, it was it was like we standing in the mirror. Nah, air kissing. Let me read yes. the whole thing. Everybody needs to understand you're taking it wrong. I am not a nasty mother. All I am is a mother that was teaching my son exactly how to survive and how to actually be able to deal with a woman. And for their information, it wasn't no tonguing down, which to me is like, like hot and passionate. It was just a way of showing you how to tongue. He licked out his tongue. I licked out my tongue. And that was that. Wasn't no mouth to mouth resuscitation. Mouth to mouth to mean. That's the touching. I thought touching. she just meant like, wasn't no deep passionate. No, mouth to mouth means I'm like, that's the only way your tongues are going to be in each other's mouth is if you're mouth to mouth. No, but you could be like, you could be like, as opposed but, to. <sighs> but that's not tongue kissing. That's not, that's not how people, mm -mm. that's not teaching somebody how to kiss with mm. their tongue. You know what I'm saying? Because then he'll be terrible if that's how he's approaching it. <laughs> Well, listen, I'm going to take your side and Josh's side. I'm going to hope for the best and I'm yeah, going to accept that part. That of, is what I got from it when she was like, no mouth, no mouth to mouth resuscitation, no deep throating or anything like that. I was like, oh, she's like the same way because the way he described it then made sense. He was like, I was like her little brother. So like if your if your brother was like, this is how you kiss a girl, he's not going to kiss you. He's going to be like. You do this. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, okay. So that's what, but the way he said it in the interview was not clearing it up. No, 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 no. And, and, and often, as is the case in the internet, the the salacious piece goes around the earth three times before yeah. the clear up. Because yeah. I saw the clear up and nobody was uh, talking about the clear up. Of um, course not. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to just, yeah, let's just go with that. I mean, it's still obviously, like, I don't ever want to be the person. I don't think that's what uh, I meant to as a parent in life, to teach my son any way other than how to treat people. Right. I don't want to be the one like, no, so, son, when you do this, you're supposed to do like that. I don't want to be a part of that conversation. <laughs> I'm hoping he learns it stupidly through his cousins and his friends but um, regardless, it is just the way Jim Jones was having the conversation and it was like a thing of you're not hearing how this does not sound right. Listen, that's how I was thinking about it. When remember we was talking about when I realized what happened to me, I was like, no, no. But I I, I was like wanted to do this, man. <laughs> you're like, and you're no. like, no, nah, but you were like 13 or, or 12. And that girl was 19. I was like, no, y'all don't. I, I want it. I like this. <laughs> I, I was been go, I've been going. I've been hoping for this. And it, you're like, and yeah, it. but you but you can't think about if you were if it was your child. And I was like, but no, nah, he don't. Oh, wait, it doesn't matter whether you want it or They no. took it. Uh, I was a victim. Oh, no. And that's how I, that's the first thing I felt like, especially black males in, mm -hmm. in, in masculinity. Mm -hmm. And we supposed to all want sex. I remember when I was young, man, I, I was like, my, <laughs> my brother would get on the phone and he have his, uh, he was like, th th he had a girlfriend at like 16 and I was like 12, uh, 13. And he, when he was like, yeah, talk to Debbie real quick. I got to grab something. And I'd be like, hey, so do you have a sister? Oh. Because, you know, I would like, or maybe a friend my age. This is what the words I feel like I should say. Do you, I like girls. Uh. And I literally, before he called, I was literally like, <laughs> right. Like, why are you over here lying Zero. to yourself? <laughs> because I thought I had to say that. And when he called, I was like, oh, hold on. Let me put my toys down. 
hey, what's up? Do you have a sister that I could like? Okay, bye. Beesh, 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 beesh. I, mean, I play. I told y'all before. I played with toys till I was about thirteen. I used to come home from school. I had the house all to myself. I used to set my men up, and I used to watch Highlander, mm-hmm. and I used to scow, zoom, <laughs> I'm talking about. I was in there having the time of my life. Scare, scare them, and I put them down, make a little sandwich. And then I get out, go to school, be like, "Yeah, girl, I like those girls." And you know you don't. <laughs> I mean, I didn't dislike them, but toys was way more fun. Right? Like, <laughs> I think there is something like we do not want boys to develop slowly. Did you remember we was talking about a dog on Facebook? Kids being mad that the the boy had the dog on kitchen set. Oh my god! Have you seen that little kid that was going viral? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Come on. He was working at a little hole in the wall. I want to do a what's good on him in 15 years. That boy in barbecue pit going to be slapping. He was having him he so was much good time. <laughs> I, people don't understand the blessing that comes with a child that develops slower. Like, I am so, I am so glad little Marcus is my first child because he is on the slower, like, of develop, like, he has an interest in girls, but not enough that he is going to act on it. Mm-hmm. Like I'll ask, I'll be like, "Any girl? Is there any girls at your school that you like?" Like he's like, "They either all have boyfriends or they're gay." And I was like, "Well, all right. Well, as long as you know, I'm I'm like, oh, I was hoping it would be like, oh no, they're gross. I was like, oh, is that is that is that what we're <laughs> that is uh. a no- norm for our kids, man. Oh yeah. Joe was the other day, uh, a couple months ago. He's like, "Yeah, can we get a rainbow mat for my uh, friend's birthday?" A uh, rainbow yoga mat, mm-hmm. and I was like, "Why? Why yoga mat? Or why specifically rainbow yoga mat?" He was like, "Cause she likes yoga and she's gay." <laughs> you were like, oh, "Okay, <laughs> just like, then let's go it get was, it." <laughs> it was like asking, "Hey, can we get Josh a supreme mat because he's a <laughs> hipster?" He didn't even blink. No, they don't. She that went a rainbow mat because she likes yoga I and she's gay. Grown friends that I'm just like, mom, okay. <laughs> Just so you know, they are in a same-sex relationship. I want you to just be cool with it. My son is like, yeah, no, yeah, that, that, <laughs> the, that, the, uh, he likes uh, girls. And I'm like, wait a minute. He? he? <laughs> Let me get, yes. He's like, you get what I'm saying. I'm like, okay, right. all right. <laughs> We're here. The We're pronouns is not nothing to them. Nothing. I saw a funny, a funny tweet. Somebody was like, you could go from calling him Puffy, Sean John, Diddy, Brother Love, but you can't learn pronouns. And I was like, <laughs> come on. But admittedly, I struggled from Puffy to, to P. Diddy. Oh, yeah. But I, I try. I remember when my, my, uh, a couple of my, my son's friends, they change pronouns, gender. I mean, they talk about it like, yeah, because you people get from school. Also, my friend is lesbian now. It is nothing. And I... I couldn't imagine being that age and having that type of conversation. I didn't know much about that part of the world. Also, we were in the black church where... Come on, you already know. Homosexual behavior was Sodom and Gomorrah. Absolutely. And I feel like in L.A., I I don't know about the rest of the world. I do feel like in L.A., um, it's more... I don't know if it's the time or the city because... When we were in Washington, both. Both. yeah, in Washington wasn't a thing, but also my kids were younger. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I'm I'm sure if they lived in Washington, this would still be the norm because mm-hmm. uh, Washington was very, really liberal too. But I'm curious, uh, I'm curious, parents, if you have kids in this in the South or it's, in it's, more Republican leaning areas, is it is open? It is it as it is in California? It's think. not as open, but it's still the tide is swinging that way. Yeah. Like my God, kids are all in. Uh, conservative states and and people are gay Mm -hmm. people are transgender or fluid with their gender identity is not so much of a thing of oh I need you to see me this way they're just like you know what I'm she her that's what I am (laughs) I'm she, I'm she her. <laughs> like it's not, it's not. I a, am she her. It's not as big of the proclamation as like uh, Bruce to Caitlyn, right? But right. it is very much so. Yeah, today I'm they in them. Charles Moore said they'll denounce homosexuality at a black church and then immediately sing a song written by a gay person. Oh come on, man, uh, sing it and have a gay person sing it. It's, it's so true. 
That's exactly. That's why I like Tone's Make Me Over. By the way, I need to make a video about this. Tone's Out the Box is top five gospel albums of all time. I've heard you say this. And I would, I need to say that out there in the world. But when he was having his interview and coming out and stuff, he was like, did, did y'all, did y'all listen to the Make Me Over lyrics? <laughs> it was right there. They were like, mm -mm. no, <laughs> didn't hear that. People was making it personal. Uh -huh. like, no, this is me. I wrote Make Me Over. <laughs> 100. 100 percent listen gay people been alive since people been alive yes people in the church been gay since since the beginning of time listen and and uh, listen without them gospel music would be subpar oh my god if we had no gay people gospel music would be subpar it would not have the pizzazz no slappers uh, we wouldn't <laughs> be doing all this we would not be doing all that that would not be a part of it. We would still be, oh, oh man. That, <laughs> that oh. is that gay pizzazz. But yes, uh, I am glad that my son is slower in the development, and I don't want him to feel like a need to rush into over sexualizing so many no, things. man take it you're gonna have to deal with women for your whole rest of your life oh, or whoever man. you deal with yes you don't need to make your life euphoria me and melissa watch euphoria man. and i was like jesus christ because uh, i that was not my high school experience mm -hmm. I, I mean i'd heard about them white kids putting vodka bottles uh, vodka and water bottles i i did regular stuff Right. I didn't even I, really skip I class. Think, I mean, that's definitely a representation of high school experience, but I think they do a good job at um, amplifying each of those experiences. Oh, yeah. As main characters in that show, though. But did did at your school no. specifically, did kids do drugs this like outside weed. like weed? No. What about you? Oh, yeah. They were doing drugs. What you talking about? At high school? Y yes. Outside weed? Definitely outside of weed. Is what the white kids? I man, let me tell y'all. I I don't. I wasn't aware that cocaine was a thing that actual people could buy until I worked at All Def. Mm -hmm. Facts. Weed was heroin. That was the first time me. I saw it. I I'm like, man. I people would be doing bumps in the bathroom. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, cocaine. Since I've been in LA, I'm realizing is like. It's weed for some yes, people. It's, it's very casual. I mean, very like when I go to get like uh, have to go to different places or like when I was preparing for surgery and having to get like checkups and stuff, the nurses would ask, you know, do you drink? Do you um, smoke anything, uh, whether it be um, nicotine or weed? Um, do you do any other drugs, cocaine, ecstasy? And I was like, you going to really ask me this to my face? Huh? <laughs> You gonna ask me this to my face, it, but it was no, there was no stigma in the way she was asking yeah. it, that, which really let me know. Oh, there are a lot of people who say, uh huh, <sighs> yes, I do. I, I, I wouldn't even have known where I didn't do this movie stuff. I didn't go to no parties. Nobody mm. ever said, hey, come over. My parents are out of town. My family wasn't. My mom always had to talk to the people of before course. we could even spend the night. Of course, let me talk. To, we, I don't know how. Can, my parents didn't trust nobody enough to just be like, Absolutely. oh, I'm over at Josh's house. Uh-uh. Call Josh's mom. Is is it okay if Kevin comes over? Because you know how they like to do. Yeah. How you been? I was like, how are these white kids just, you just tell your mom you're going to their right. house and they tell you that and then y'all go to a college just, party? you just don't come home from school because you were over there? Absolutely are you, are you out of your mind? I, I, how are parents house. doing this? I have no idea. I went to one party in high school that was like a house party and um, I went to a high school with majority uh, of white folk. There was a bunch of black folk too, but it was majority white folk. And these people were drinking. They were making out. People were giving <laughs> head in the bathroom. Head in the bathroom? Room. They were giving Nancy! head out. They were having sex in the woods That's behind the house. And That's exactly what I thought. I started crying, huh? Because I said, "This is not of God," and I said, "Somebody better take me from here now." You was in a party crying. Yes, I was. Why were you crying? Because it was not of God. Was it supposed to be of God? It wasn't supposed to be <laughs> Sodom and Gomorrah. I thought there was some place. There was a, a area, and I didn't know it went from heaven to hell. 
That's what I thought. Left my best friend there because she was making out with her boyfriend. I said, well, you're going to go to hell with the rest of these folk. <laughs> but I'm getting the heck up out of here. <laughs> I said, I'm not. I said, uh-uh, goodbye to y'all. Hello Fresh to me. That's because right. when I tell you, I love Hello Fresh. We eating it in my house. I be making it every day. I made some black bean soup yesterday. Black bean so soup? It was delicious, okay? There was like a little cream sauce. They had me a little uh, cream what is it? Creme? Crema? 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 Some cheese, and they put some blue tortilla chips with. Mm. Oh, praise the Lord. It was so good. <laughs> <clears throat> and that meal came together in like 20 minutes. Most of their meals come together in about 30 minutes or less. I just had to chop up the onion, cook them in the oil, then add the seasoning tomato paste, and then the beans. Ooh, and then the uh, vegetable stock, stock, and it was done. Um, and the kids actually really do love it. My boys love it. I made a. Um, it was a pasta-based dish uh, the night before. I can't remember what it was called. And Sai the next day was like, so, Mom, I want more of the pasta. I was like, uh, y'all ate it yesterday, so we're going to see what else is in this box. Um, <laughs> but uh, what's great is that they have so many w different meals for you to choose from. We particularly are on the pescatarian plan because we don't eat beef or pork. So all of our meals are either um, like seafood based or vegetarian based. And they have so many other different um, types of meals that you can choose from depending on your lifestyle. And you can skip the trips to the grocery store because everything you need is in the box pre-measured for mm -hmm. you to be able to throw the recipe together. Um, they also have desserts, so you can satisfy your, uh, satisfy your sweet tooth with seasonal limited time goodies like Dunkaroo cookie dough or oh, yeah. vanilla delight cheesecake. The cheesecake came in one of our boxes. Um, what I was about to say is one of my favorite things, I say this all the time I get to work with HelloFresh, is being able to do the cooking with my kids because they have all the pictures on the menu. Um, they help me pull the ingredients together. So it's a nice family time. HelloFresh offers the flexibility you need to easily customize your order online or in the app. Easily change your delivery day, food preferences, plan size, or skip a week whenever you need to. Green Chef is also now owned by HelloFresh with a wide array of meals to choose from. There's something for everyone. And you can switch back and forth between brands. Excuse me. And our listeners can enjoy both brands at a discount on us. Go to HelloFresh.com slash SK16. SK16. And use code SK16. SK16. For up to 16 free meals and three free gifts. Thank you, HelloFresh. America's number one meal kit. Uh, but yeah, no, I definitely thought mm -hmm, the Lord is about to rain hell up in here. I don't need to be here. This is not where I left. My best friend the next day was like, you left me there? I said, yeah. Did you go home and read your Bible? No, because I was supposed to, I was supposed to be, it was supposed to be, it was like our senior year. And so uh, it was after we had finished this huge senior performance. So I was supposed to be staying over at one of these rich white girls house. So I ended up going to her house because we were at a party in a different location and I went to bed. I said, uh -uh. Went to bed. I went to bed. I said, Lord, if you burn that place up, spare my friend, just spare her. <laughs> I can do it. I could not do oh it. I was definitely God. a little bit on the slower side of no nah. Marcus. Huh? You're a little Marcus. Yeah. He's a little slower than I was, but I was definitely on the slow end. Now that uh, Kai is who I got to worry about. Cause Kai came back the first day of being in person talking about. So I got a crush. <laughs> I was like, you haven't even seen the person's whole face. <laughs> Listen, them eyes up. Them here to here, she all. all right with me. You understand me? Yeah. Kai's face when you were doing Kwanzaa was like, oh, he didn't care. I don't want to. But this. they would ask me all the time, are we getting ready to do Kwanzaa? Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm going to have to come down there, double mask. I'm like, y'all staying across the other side of the room. Your mama's contaminated. Like the candles. You were sick and shut in, Angel. Yes. Ugh. You were sick and shut in. You, you, you had the perfect time. I mean, was it? I don't know. I mean, timing. I mean, timing was better than what it, if it would be like right now. And there's a lot of people who are getting it right now. Oh, we I, got probably a hot month in L.A. Yeah. Because in South Africa, it, it was about two months of Omarion because it was so transmissible. It was like two months. It was like you either got it or it, 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 it didn't have nobody else to go to. Mm -hmm. It was like I, I can honestly say, and I saw this tweeted a lot. More than any other time during the pandemic, people I actually knew 
having Omarion or get, or being sick during Christmas time was the most. Mm -hmm. It was pretty. You got it, boy. You got mm -hmm. it. Everybody, everybody had it. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen more positive tests. It was like it got your butt. <laughs> Sick and shut in. Yeah. Me and Melissa was taking tests. Psh, boy, yeah. that's one thing that is whack. Traveling internationally, you be having. We, Germany, you want to talk about strict? You can't even go to a museum without being vaxxed and boosted or taking a COVID test that day. Wow. That day. Wow. <laughs> we went to a castle that is mostly outside. Uh huh. COVID tests and the, the amount of money that is being made by COVID test I places. I know. That's honestly the, one of the most frustrating things though, from like watching the testing paywall Josh, for people to get fast tests is like, it's mind boggling. To and me. The, yeah. the amount of like material, if you went on shark tank and was like, this cost me $7 to make it's, it's a Q-tip, a mm -hmm. little plastic housing, Fee included testing people probably fifteen dollars a test. And, a little and what could you charge for? Two hundred. Yes. Two hundred. Yes. They would give you three hundred thousand yeah. dollars. And it's X percent accurate. Josh. That I mean, Germany does not play. By the way, you can't even go into Seven Eleven vaccine passport. I love don't it. don't come in here. Stand out there. Let me see your passport. That's how Let me see your vaccine. At our house. They're not trying to hear none of your show political it, views. We got all the, we have a bunch of rapid tests. You coming over, I'm swabbing your nose before you walk in here. Because I was able to avoid getting anybody in my family sick. So I was like, you, you ain't going to get them sick if I didn't. Man, they, they. <laughs> and I'm making sure I'm getting back in there where there's a good booger. Man, we, I had taken four tests. December 30th, January 2nd, January 4th, January 6th, January 8th, and then two more on January 10th. That broke my record. I have had, I took so many. I know I paid for somebody's Christmas because I paid for a bunch of rapid PCRs just to get my feelings hurt over and over again. They were, it's like, it's still in there. He's still in there <laughs> dancing and doing moonwalks in your chest and in your nostrils. I want this to be over. I know. You this know what I'm excited to start? Fresh Prince of Bel Air reboot. Ooh, Did Bel Air. Did you see Air. the trailer? The trailer is amazing, but I kept getting so confused because I'm so, like, the Fresh Prince of Bel Air is so, like, near and dear to me. I kept waiting for a funny moment, and I'm like, no, it's a drama. It's it a drama. A it's drama. a drama. It's a drama. I was like, is, is, is Carlton going to accidentally end up on speed and start dancing really hard? Carlton looked like the villain from the trailer. Yeah, I think he is. He was not nice to Will at all. But he wasn't nice to Will in the beginning of, of regular Fresh Prince. That is true. He wasn't. He wasn't in the beginning. Mm -mm, they developed into best friends. And still, like, they were still kind of frenemies, but they developed into best friends. That is true. I guess when you look back on it, you look in the totality of it. Mm-hmm. But the first season or two, maybe even three, he they were not friends. Mm -mm. And listen, they cast, they flipped the light skinned black people and and dark skinned black people. Mm -hmm. Will, I believe, Will might be the only person that's light in the family. Yeah, they said we're gonna make it make sense. You ain't gonna have this dark skinned mama. <laughs> Brown skinned daddy in the high yellow daughter. No. Not to say it ain't possible, but we're gonna make it make sense for television today. <laughs> That's what we gonna That's do. Two funny things happen. You say it ain't gonna make it make sense, and somebody tweeted not getting Peacock, even though I want to watch it. I <laughs> know, right? That's the. This is also. This is the Kevin Stage Studios problem. I'm starting to think. I'm on. Like, people don't know. People don't know. People know. They just haven't got that show that's making them pull the trigger. Right, right. People know about it. They're just like, nah. Peacock, listen, I used to watch The Office all the time. Religiously. On Netflix. Mm -hmm. All the time. Mm -hmm. They moved it to Peacock. They're like, people will come. And I was just you like, said, nah. nah. I've seen them all. <laughs> I mean, I literally, Peacock is free. They have a free version. You can still, all you got to do is download the app. And I was like, no, I, I, me and Netflix had a whole thing. Like, I know it's available on Peacock yet. 
during Christmas time when I was stuck at home. Shouts to sickness. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Comedy Central ran every single episode of The Office over like a week. Really? Every season nonstop. That was the only thing on. And I was like, this is what That's Netflix what I should have been like watching. Netflix, ha- they Josh, listen, they had me. it when they needed to have it. Mm-hmm. And I think, and I'm not, I know I'm not alone. I think Peacock, Peacock underestimated people's being like, nah. I knew the office isn't bad. a show you have to have to see. I knew yeah. they were down bad when they were showing Peacock ads on the tram at Universal. No, they're trying everything. It's like um, the morning show. The way if if you watched it, have you finished watching it? You didn't watch it. I'm not gonna tell you what happens, but like there's uh, there's a whole through line of this dude trying to make this app for this network work, and it's just nobody. Nobody, nobody wants it. I said, oh, they talking about Peacock. Peacock. They, I think they stopped reporting the numbers because they were down so bad. They just were like, we can't. Re- do we-. I think we're on the third quarter of last year. They were like, just, just hush. Yes, no. Somebody was saying it's free on um, uh, Comcast or Xfinity. No, I don't got that. Xfinity. I don't think. Do they service out here? Mm-mm. Oh, um, I'm trying to think. I was looking at new internet because our internet provider is terrible. Who do you have? I'd, I'd recommend somebody. I'm in a. I'm in a open ended to compete. <laughs> well, the thing is, is that when I looked, they are supposed to be offering me the best possible speed out of all of them. What? They weren't? Who's they? Uh, listen, you know who they is. I was trying to do what? a goddamn on vision board party with my angel wings. It was out of the zoom. <laughs> Your vision More. board looked like a looked like a censored photo. Just it was. I had hit. to have my friend take over. I said, "Girl, it keeps kicking me out. Just take over. Just take over." Oh, because it's angel. stupid internet. What? That is crazy. It's terrible. Couldn't but, be my internet. Uh, I bet you could. Forty-four ninety-nine nine Mbps. I'm gonna call them today and cuss them out. Why? And I'm gonna tell them you sent me. Mm-hmm. They got uh, the best channels too, right, Kev? What? They got the best channels too, right? Okay. <laughs> so you're not downloading um you're not downloading Peacock? I will to see Bel Air eventually, probably two years after. Two years after? The fact, yeah. I got other stuff. I mean, Righteous Gemstones just came out. That's on HBO it. Max. I know. What made you get HBO Max? Insecure for me. Come on. That was like without a question. Yeah, I had to get it. Yeah, I had it for that. They had I had it for that. I, I watch HBO all the time. I've been re, I've been running There's back to really Sopranos. There's some really good shows on there. The Succession? Sopranos is timeless. Succession is my jam. I love Succession as well. Marcus I heard that up. last episode was crazy. Yeah. You still haven't seen it? No, you not seen it? No, oh, I, I get to binge Josh. it. Josh! We were on, were you with us? We got off the plane. Me and Kevin both watched the season finale the same night. Uh-huh. And so we were talking about, oh, what were you doing last night? And I was like, oh, I was watching the season finale of this show. He was like, Succession! <laughs> you watched it! Oh, my God! I was like, okay, you feel the same way I feel. It was Josh. so good. You gotta finish it, I, man. There's a couple shows on there. So there's all there's also South like Side. A, I gotta watch South Side too. Have you watched South Side? No, but I, you remember I was the one to tell you to watch it. But have you watched it? That's no, <laughs> that's I'm telling you. I told you to watch it because I knew it would be good. Just haven't. I just I, haven't. Uh, man. I just I get it. I get why Kevin State Studios is so hard. I really. You get remember it. how difficult it was for Oprah. Yes. When she started up on, like, we were so used to everything Oprah touching being gold. And when that thing turned into a penny, she was like, wait a second. Listen, she was like, I have to come back. She She had to come back. Remember at first she was like, that's going to be that. Yeah. Hey, you want this to work? You You come sit down. And then Tyler had to save her. He was her life raft. Listen, I was looking at this thing. People talk all this trash about Tyler. They say everything in the world about Tyler. I was looking at the top 10 black shows uh, shows among black households. Top three were 50 Cent Drug Shows, um, Power Book, and uh, Ghost, or Raising Canaan and, and Ghost, mm-hmm. and then BMF. I don't know if BMF is 50 Cent, but I know it's a drug show. The next four or five, Tyler Perry this, Tyler Perry that, Tyler Perry this, Tyler Perry that, Have and Have Not, or um, uh, that show that KJ's on. Sisters. Sisters. It was like the next five or Tyler. 
And that's why Tyler be like, bro, y'all don't don't at me. I don't want to hear nothing from y'all. My mother in law came here. She said, now the oval is is it called the oval? Yep. Yes. That was on there. Yeah, the oval is coming on at nine. So don't change the channel. I said, I, you are real. You for real out here. You BMF is 50 Cent. I am excited about Righteous Gemstones, though. I oh. feel like I've been waiting on this season. I am so excited. Oh, it's such a good show. It's such a good show. I need to watch show. that. I hope, it's, I hope the second season's good, though. I really do. It, it will be. They, they've had time. But, yeah, I do really want to see... Um, I'm excited to see Coco working again. Mm-hmm. Excited to see that. Uh, and they went see- all new people outside of Coco. I didn't recognize any of those people. Uh, Jordan, the one who's playing DJ, DJ Jazzy Jeff, he was in... Um, Rail? Yes, he played Rail's little brother. He auditioned for a pilot I directed for YouTube. Uh-huh. And I wanted him, but the network was like, no. And I was like, that was my first understanding of the network the network can decide he has such great energy so I, uh, he, he was great casting that's the that. the network you don't really have much say so when you're not the network mm. no, i didn't no. know what network approval meant yeah no 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 then they be approving everything anytime i've gotten a guest star they're like we're getting network approval and once that goes why didn't book insecure angel yeah, they did. Issa could have wanted me, but if the network was like, no. Nah, yeah, it don't matter. Issa, I mean, it's great. She makes a lot of decisions. I'm sure they lean her way on a lot of things, but then there comes a point in time where she even got to be like, okay. And when you want to be approved, you got to become the network. Mm-hmm. That's why I, I book everything on Kevin Stage Studios. Come That's on, you, you do. I'll be like, 100%. man, I'm going to be book series me. regular. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm going to be the lead. No, I'm going to be, and I'm going to say what I want to say, and I'm the network approving. I'm both the co-stars. This show is called Me, Myself, and I. Man, that's another thing, man. I, I wrote that church show. We was writing it, and I was breaking down the cast, and I was like, whew, that's a lot of people. You got to pay all of them? A long, long I said, we got to condense some of these characters. All that, each new person, mm-mm, you going to say that, and he going to put a different shirt on, and he going to say that. It's gonna be, I am so excited about the casting process for you. You going to let me see these auditions. It was cool watching some of the casting tapes on, uh, or the clips of them on that insecure thing. It was, uh-huh. it was really cool. Uh huh. They went through. They went through a pro. We didn't even talk about insecure. Mm-mm. We didn't talk about insecure. We didn't talk about Betty White. I remember auditioning for Molly. You auditioned for Molly? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Really? Surely did. I would have been more like Issa's aunt. <laughs> I had short hair at the time and I was super duper thin, but <clears throat> I've always come with a level of maturity that is very like hard to disguise. <laughs> That's an ask on angel. <laughs> yes. It's just too hard to dis- dis- uh, disguise. You had the half up, half down, half up when you were 16. Come on. <laughs> You're like an auntie when you were 16. I remember, I remember exactly how I was dressed. My hair was like curly. It was super short. I had on like this, like, l- like leather, like vest type of thing and like a white tee and some jeans and some boots. I looked grown as hell. I look like, oh, auntie about to go to this biker club and pick her up, (laughs) pick her up somebody. (laughs) And I remember Yvonne being like, I think I might get this role. And that was her mate. Like that, that before that Yvonne hadn't done much. She had a commercial. She had a commercial. She has done a lot since. Oh, yes. She, she has. She, she's not but be the first person that I actually know personally and knew prior to fame. That was like, you want to watch somebody get rich? This is going to be crazy. <laughs> and I was just like, when we went to her house. Oh. oh. Angel. I was like, HBO gives you a lot of dollars, huh? She was like, mm-hmm. Look at my backyard. Oh, yeah. No, she Look definitely. Look at the staircase for the workers. And that was like season pets. three, Josh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she got past them two seasons. It was game over. Man. And people, she going to get paid still. I said that uh, me and her were talking uh, just yesterday. And um, <laughs> Don't I, know. they said Kiana May said, or Mary. Angel gets Mary or May, oh, not Molly. definitely would have been May. May. <laughs> And my cousin May coming over. Yeah, she, <laughs> you get over here and sit down easy. You always over there doing that job. I need you to watch these kids. But go ahead. I don't want to interrupt I play my numbers. No. <laughs> I said, uh, <coughs> Yvonne, your show ain't even cold yet. Talk about uh, Insecure. It's cold? Not, 
like it's not even in the grave yet. The, oh. the it's still warm, and they yeah. you already announcing another show on HBO. She's been I she's been booking down. like the library. Yes. Movies on Hulu. I mean, just show after. By the way, HBO Max is getting into reality TV. Of course they are. Well, oh, I watched. Oh, while I was in quarantine isolation, I watched all of the show, the executive produced show by Issa Rae. Um, Sweet Life. Yes, I watched every episode. Was Did it? you like it? It was terrible. Oh, great. And I was just into it. I was like, uh-uh, she going to do him dirty. <laughs> That's how I was with Emily in Paris. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you was watching that? Dog, I, man. Melissa was watching that on the trip. I can't stop. What is that show about? It is literally about a girl that goes to Paris for a year for work, and it's just a messy but I'm actually decent at my job. Everybody hates me, but... Is it reality? No. Oh, it's scripted. It's scripted. Oh, it just got renewed for two more seasons. And I'm just, Dang! It was funny because some of the tweets responded were like, this is the worst show of all time, for lack of better words. Uh, win season three. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, man, please, shows don't have to be good for people to watch them. No. Oh, sometimes when they're really it's bad, it's even more like... Let me stay in this. I and some shows you? that are great get canceled because people don't watch them. Like people uh, be Watchmen. So, was it supposed to get more? I thought it was a limited series. It should. It, it, come on. The way that ended, we oh, needed man, to see great. what was going to happen. Regina King was just That was a great that. show. Yab Yab Abdul Mateen. I'm going to tell you what. The Rapture, the Lord going to play the second season of that on our way up. You got to watch it in full. Yeah, the Lord's going to be it's like, the there, I, there's I a second it season. You guys were supposed to. Yes, that's what the Lord's going to allow. I watched that. I watched all of you. Oh, I didn't finish that. On Netflix. Oh, I stopped with that show. I wanted I, to stop. And I, I just was like. I checked out when they started doing the, the COVID references. I was like, okay. He has a girlfriend in the next they, new season. We were right? at a party, but you have no they idea. weren't wearing masks. And I was like, enough. I'm yeah. out. It was definitely <laughs> a force. It was probably giving me anxiety, too, because I would fall asleep to it and then wake up and watch some more because I was sleeping in two-hour in increments like a baby, like a newborn. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Drugs. I was high on Norco. She was in euphoria. <laughs> she was in euphoria. That I first was. episode was Yes, euphoria. we're doing Married at First Sight. Man, okay. I got to finish watching that mess. Um, but yeah, Betty White, rest in peace. Rest so in sad. peace to the goat. And uh, B Dubs, man, she's probably one of my in my top five favorite actresses. Black folks love the Golden Girls because it was such a great show. You know, I saw a thing that said the Golden Girls when their first season started, they were younger than the current age of Sex and the City women. Oh wow, I can believe it. That's that's how they how well, they portrayed the in the city did women they, look. Did they portray them older though in Golden oh. Girls? Oh, absolutely. Okay, oh, yeah, I was gonna yeah. say, why would they do that then? Because so now exactly aging is like Golden fifty, Girls. but then like Botox and stuff. Yeah. But they are actually the second city people now, uh, and that's that on that or whatever the new thing is. Mm -hmm. They are older than the Golden Girls when the Golden Girls started. Yeah. Black folks and the Golden yeah. Girls was like, man, even Latinx, we love old people. Man, I would go yeah. over. Uh, Told my uh, aunt and uncle's houses, and that show would just always be on. Golden Girls? Mm -hmm. oh, I'd man. wake up. Thank you for being a friend. Travel down the, in the heat of the night. In black the heat was, of the night. That's how you know you was raised with your grandma and them. We had to watch. We were sitting in the, Matlock mm -hmm. and Columbo. And Mash. Mash. Mash late at night. I was watching Matlock yeah. like, he going to get it. Mm. My mama still be watching Columbo. Matt, uh, Columbo. Matt I love One Columbo. More thing. Yes. One more thing. I, yes. oh, One more he thing. got it. Come on, he had man. the little eye. Whoa. 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 Columbo Whoa. never got excited about anything. Is he still alive? Nah, nah, he done went on. Now. He got one more thing in glory now. Yeah, he is. He one done went on to see the Lord one, one more thing. thing. He done crossed That's over. it. That's it. There All right, y'all. We love you. Let me see. Something. God no, bless no, no. you. And real quick. We, and real quick. We oh. are. Yes. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huge news. Huge, Huge news. news. Here's the thing. Was chosen to be spotlighted by Apple Podcast. Yeah, it was for 2022. Well, yeah. this week at least. At so, least this week. Uh, if you go on to Apple Podcasts under the browse page, and you uh, swipe left on the top, um, what you call it, top thumbnails, you will see a gorgeous drawing of me, Joshi, and Kevin. We're blue people. They did an interview. Uh, with us and everything, because they said, you know, here's the thing, y'all dope, and we were like, here's hey. the thing, we up on that Apple uh, Podcast. Uh, la, 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 la. 
So yeah. go over there and I don't know why y'all would look at it, but look at it, man. Yeah, I'm gonna I post mean, some it's just stories. nice that they were like, we want to talk about you. We did an interview. I don't know where it is, but they're going to put it somewhere. They're going to put it somewhere, yeah, Angel. They're, they're, they're going to say, hey, man, here it is. Uh, you know. But yeah, uh huh. That was. And something. congratulations to Georgia. They won the national championship. UGA. They, they beat 2022. They beat the Alabama. I saw a sign that said 2022 is the year of the dog. <laughs> <laughs> I want them to. Uh, I want them to. All the black kids to go to HBCUs soon. I swear my baby. Starting now. Deion Sanders at Jackson State. He got the number one corner prospect. He also brings guests to speak to their players. He does. And he got the top five receiver just joined over there. Now with the NIL deals. uh, Hey, listen. Without the black kids, the SEC is. There is no. There's no. SEC. There's no power five without the black kids. If all the black kids is like, we going to HBCUs. You're going to see Jackson State versus FAMU in the national championship in eight years. That'd be Come crazy. On. It's much easier in basketball. Mm-hmm. If they all went in basketball, you'd see them in the national championship next like year. Two, yeah, I was going to say. Football takes a little bit longer to get strong. But all these transfers, they was all like, man, let's all just be black and go to black schools. Alabama wouldn't win another championship in the history of ever. If all them black kids was like, nah, man, JSU, Grambling, Southern. TSU Howard, and I'd be like, "This is great." In two to three years, I will have a uh, HBCU college tour set up for black kids out here in California. Come on, Adrian. that was my big thing. I was not exposed in Washington. Nobody, none of my, uh, there was no black counselors there, mm-hmm. but nobody was talking about HBCUs as a valid, as a as a a valid option. Uh huh. Nobody was like, "Oh, Kev, you could go to Howard, or you could go to TSU." It was like. Kids from here go to Washington State or the University of Washington, or you go to Pierce College and then you go to Washington State or University. Nobody even said, man, you should try FAMU. Oh, no, I'm setting up. It's going to be a one year program where it's a, we work on college applications, getting your stuff together. So you ready mm-hmm. like around your freshman, sophomore year. And then it culminates with a during the summer, a trip to hit up about like 10 That's HBCU cool. I colleges. Love that. It's going to happen because I'm my doing sons, it for my I'll baby. pay for you if you go to HBCU. If you go to them white schools, you figure it out. You figure it out. If you go to USC, you better ask for a scholarship or or go to work study. Mm-hmm. But if you want to go to Grambling, I got you. Oh, yeah. Rest in peace, Sydney Portier, too. Sydney Portier. I got to meet he him. He backhanded a white man. What? I feel for his daughter. I knew, met his daughter, worked with her. Really I didn't know Sydney Portier directed Ghost Dad. I don't think I knew that either. I didn't know. But he's been around for a long time. 94, Angel. He lived a good life He now. lived a good life. Betty, 99. Now, Bob Saget, that was a little earlier than I think anybody expected. He checked out. I heard he used, he used to be on that stuff, though. Yeah, oh, yeah. I mean. I was sad about Bob Saget because, first of all, Full House, we was also watching that. But he had his tour dates out through June. He seemed so excited to be on the road. Like. You got to be living your life and planning for it. And then sometimes, you know, that's the thing about life. It's so fragile. You, you plan so for fragile. it and then it'd be like, nah, you're not doing that. Yeah. So any rest, rest in peace to all them people. We love y'all. God bless y'all. Patreon, we'll see you later this week. We got to figure out what day it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the uh, rest of y'all, we'll see you next week. God bless you. God keep you. We'll see you at the conference. Bye. Bye. There's another thing I there's another one. There's another thing of fire. There's another one. There's another one. Here's another thing of fire. Fire. Here's another thing of fire. With my boy Kev on stage. And that chick angel.